Uh, my name is Martin Taggart. I'll be the conference chair for today. Uh, so just before we start, um, one or two small housekeeping issues just to run through. Um, so parking today at GMIT, uh, we operate a clamping company in the campus. Um, just been told by the Buildings and Estates Office that um, they have uh, given a derogation today. So any visitors from outside the college that haven't got the GMIT permit, if you're parked in Gorwegians, you're parked in the um, visitor's car park just at the front here, or you're parked in a staff parking space which has a yellow sign, uh, you'll be safe. If you're parked in a student um, parking bay which has a green sign, uh, you'd like to be clamped. Uh, so uh, generally you're going to be okay, just ask you to park sensibly and uh, not block any exits. Sorry. Um, Wi-Fi today, uh, there's a lot of guests from uh, industry and other campuses, so we have complimentary Wi-Fi. Uh, there's an um, uh, address on there, uh, just on the corner here. And um, also the address is out on some of the notice boards outside, so you can link into the network for today. Um, there's a number of you have emailed me about certificates of attendance. Um, Sean Canney, my colleague sitting over there, uh, Sean if you give a wave, uh, Sean has a register there and certificates of attendance so if you need those for CPD for professional bodies, uh, Sean will sort you out, there's no immediate rush, uh, Sean will be taking details uh, through today. Um, breakout rooms, this will be the main room we'll be in here for today uh, and uh, one of the breakout sessions will take place here. Uh, we have another room just along the corridor. Uh, I'll give you the details of the breakout sessions just before uh, we finish this session at the end. So uh, programs uh, have been sent to you electronically. You can make your decision uh, for the 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock slot which breakout you want to attend. Okay. Uh, there's also a uh, general sign-in sheet, I think was behind there, John. Uh, going round. If you... Um, uh, I maintain a, uh, an email group, a lot of you would get emails from me in uh, the western area, especially around Galway. Uh, we share CPD events with CIOB, SCSI and CABE, etc. and some of uh, Engineers Island. Uh, if you want to go on my, it's a personal list that I run, if you want to sign in and give me your email address, I'd circulate on uh, emails from the different professional groups. Okay. Um, glad to see uh, so many attendants today and um, uh, thank you all for coming. I know some of you have travelled uh, long distances. Uh, I'll ask Mary Rogers, uh, Head of Department for Building and Civil Engineering here at GMIT, just to formally welcome you to the conference. Thank you. Following the institute, Fortune Road Galair in New Wick and Green Shop on Carroll International Construction Management Day. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, students of the institute, on behalf of the Department of Building and Civil Engineering, I would like to welcome you all here today to our fourth International Construction Management Day conference. This is a worldwide initiative supported by the Chartered Institute of Building and the International Project Management Associations across the globe. Today's event has been kindly sponsored by the Western Centre for the Chartered Institute of Building in Ireland and the Western Branch of the Society of Chartered Surveyors Ireland. These organisations represent over 7,000 professional members in the construction industry here in Ireland. We have record numbers due to attend the conference here today and I'd like to especially welcome those who have travelled, including lecturers and students from our Mayo campus, IT Sligo, Athlone IT and DIT. I thank you all for your interest. The Department of Building and Civil Engineering has close working links with the construction industry in the region, and in particular with the local branch of the CIS. Again, I welcome Justin Malloy here today. We greatly value the support of local industries in relation to the student work placements, which has continued even in difficult times. As a higher educational institution, we value our links with industry and we hope to further develop existing relationships with industry partners to support the education, training and development of the sector in the Western region. 
In the past few days, we've had some good news stories in the national media regarding the renewed interest in, of Leaving Cert students in construction-related programmes through the CAO. The CAO figures for GMIT's programmes are following this trend. All of our Level 8 programmes in the department show a significant increase in numbers. The BSc Honours in Construction Economics and Quantity Surveying, which was accredited just this year by the SESI, shows increased numbers to a record 73% over last year's figures. There's also significant interest in the new BEng Honours in Civil Engineering, which has 177 applicants currently on the CAO. The award year of this programme develops the students' skills specifically in the area of construction civil engineering software through integrated project work. And this is where the demand lies in industry for our graduates. The architectural technology and the construction management programs are both holding their own with increases of up to 42% on the CEO applications this year, which is wonderful news for us. The industry fell into disrepute during the hectic boom times but change is afoot with the introduction of the new building control amendment regulations and the Construction Contract Act 2013. There are new technologies and new ways of working as collaborators to processes such as building information modelling. Today we'll provide food for thought for industry through discussions about these very topics. There's a local flavour to today's event with local developer and CIS Chairman Paul Carey speaking about the industry from a contractor's perspective. Brendan Rodden from Tobin Engineers will give an overview of a major project here in Galway, the redevelopment of Galway Docks. I'm personally looking forward to architect Tom Dufresne's presentation on designing in concrete, the solid cinema project, which is near completion. Research activity in the construction area is vital for innovation and for the development of the industry and the profession. The SCSI accreditation panel who visited us here in, um, in November we're highly impressed at the level of research activity within our department. Research is supported by our lecturing staff, and we currently have five lecturers developing their skills to doctorate level, including our chair today, Martin Taggart. I'd like to give a special mention to the work of two PhD students in the Department of Building and Civil Engineering. Ima Hassett and Jan Gotch will introduce their research on the development of sustainable energy, energy communities and reducing energy usage on construction projects, respectively, later on today. Ema is an architectural graduate from UCD and Jan a graduate of GMIT's construction management programme. And both students completed a taught master's from our department, the MSc in Environmental Systems, before commencing the PhD pathway. It's invaluable to have this type of active research in a higher education institute, institute as the knowledge informs the students, the staff, and our learning and our teaching. I'd like to acknowledge the tireless work in this regard of Dr. Mark Kelly, who is supervising these students, and to our industry partners, Kerry Developments and BAM Contractors, for providing case studies in support of this research. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everybody who has contributed to today, today's event. In particular, I would like to commend the conference organizer, Mr. Martin Taggart, for freely giving up his time, for his determination, and his continued dedication, which has made this day possible and I hope you all enjoy the day. I will now call on Martin Taggart, our chair for the conference today, to present our first speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you.